my job is to have a point of view. My job is not to dust the museum display and to present an Aida like everyone else has ever seen it, especially in a house like this, which has seen so many wonderful productions of Aida over the centuries, we could almost say. The, the idea for me for the, the presentation of this piece is to, is to examine it as a chamber opera. Everyone likes to think of Aida as this grand opera with elephants and chariots and parades and flags. And, and it, is, it has some grand aspects, but it really is a, a, a personal drama, an intimate drama. At the center of Aida is a love triangle. It's um, uh, three people who are in love with each other. I have to say it, there's, this, there's an incredible friction amongst every member of this triangle, as there almost always is when there's these uh, incredible uh, conflicts. Each of these three characters have sworn allegiance to ideas and, uh, and have sworn oaths of loyalty to uh, not just themselves but to the world around them. And that is very often in conflict with what their heart wants. And this is something that's, that everybody in the audience, I hope, can relate to. This idea that we have a public obligation but we have these private desires that very often they don't line up. And sometimes uh, it's fatal. Sometimes at the, uh, if you're in a position with enough authority and power and under enough pressure, it can actually cost you your life to have to decide between your private passions and your public responsibilities. <laughs> This piece is relevant at all times, and always has been. I think that was the secret to its immediate success. It was Verdi, this great master of the human condition, not just of music and orchestration and singing and all the things that we expect, but he's also, he was also a master at the psychology of human beings, an interpersonal psychology. Um, and that, that has no time period, that has no time frame. We, we relate to each other as human beings in, no matter what our backdrop is, no matter what um, conflicts are going on around us. There are, the conflicts that are going on within us are always more interesting and that's why this piece will always be eternal. <laughs>